section of the show I should do. It's called like, was it Jamie first or ahead of my time or whatever? This is a reaction to a tweet that someone sent me. It's from an account, Internet Hall of Fame. I guess some dude named Butters, they retweeted a dude named Butters and he wrote, British people be having sex like, mmm, yes, splendid, ah, indeed, very scrumptious. Carry on, good heavens. I'm arriving. And there's all these different responses. There's 112,000 fucking likes and shit. And um, somebody wrote, said, a Jamie Kennedy bit. So that's exactly like my bit, but what's really exactly like my bit is I was definitely inspired by that bit in real life. And I thought about it. But then... Because I remember somebody did something and they had a joke and they said the cops in Britain were like, oh, yes, there's a few hooligans over there by the dustbin. I forget. Some comedian had a joke like that. So then I took my own take on that because that was funny. I don't know if this is bad, but then I did British porn. I watched a British porno. Did anyone else ever watch a British porno? Oh, I'm the weird guy. No, when I watch a British porno, and it doesn't work, okay? Because they're just too polite. The guy's like, I say. <laughs> Whose vagina is this? <laughs> Whose vagina is this? <laughs> yes, twas my twat, yes. <laughs> Who's your father? Who was your birth father, woman? <laughs> I say. I, I say. I do believe I'm about to arrive. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. That was quite tingly. Would you like a scone or a towel? <laughs> and a lot of the lines here are my line, so I don't know. But then there's a Family Guy episode that does it too. One, almost, almost, almost. There we are. Well done. So someone tagged me in it. Here's another one. Jamie's ahead of his time. So Netflix did The Watcher, which is a very cool story, and it arrived this week. And it says, somebody wrote, "It's that's weird because Jamie Kennedy already did this premise with on Lifetime. It was a horror movie, and there's no way to top JK making deaf girl sex noises, which is what my character did. So again, this is another example. There's another movie, I guess, with that Australian chick where she goes into a coma. I got to react to that. Yeah, I can't calm down. I can't be fucking touched. I didn't touch you, I man. I just break. Well, no one did that. It's okay. It's okay. Is this a prank? I can't. He won't go away. He You're needs to go away. He's the fucking problem. I need to leave? No, no, Just no. Welcome. We'll take it to the I still location. got, I still got, okay. Let's, let's she threw some of my stuff. Okay. We'll just take Where's she to still? Okay. I hell if I know. I'm so sorry. We're just, no, you're not sorry. We'll she wasn't she sorry when she cut in line. Fuck and then you. Screamed. I didn't see you. To make it. Oh, I just asked her if she saw just anyone leave. in line. Just fucking leave. Just go. That's leave. an adult. You're making it worse. Let's just walk up. I'm just talking. Walk up to Chris. Walk with Chris. Walk with Chris. Just walk up to Chris. 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 You can't, this is insane. I don't know the context. I guess the girl cut the guy off and the guy did something. I don't know. And this woman is having a meltdown saying that she was raped. She can't be touched. I don't know if he touched her. He didn't in that video. But this is the lunacy of the world right now. People just acting like kindergartners, freaking out. Whatever your backstory is, is your backstory. But like, don't think that we're not going to comment on it. And if you have a bad thing happened to you i'm sorry that happened to you but doesn't mean that you can act like a wild person in public and if you can we're going to comment on it and that goes for me too like if i fuck up in public you know i'm fucking comment on it i gotta own my shit but this is insane this is i don't know she said she was raped that's terrible that's terrible if that happened to you i mean it's terrible but i don't know she's going crazy in a walmart 
I don't know, to self-checkout, so. Syphilis cases are surging. Should I be worried? Syphilis is making a comeback in the United States. Total cases of the disease surged by 27%. It can be in the back of the throat. It can be inside the vagina. It can be in the rectum. Who is at most risk? Sexually active people. Multiple partnered people. Why is syphilis on the rise again? A number of factors are probably behind the increase. Some public health experts say fewer people are using condoms because the HIV prevention medicine or the incentive. That's insane. Okay. Syphilis is up by 27%. It's wild in these streets. I, I, I can't, like, I can't understand. So you got all these people that are, like, boosted and sh shot, right? So they're just having sex. Multiple partners. I've changed so much in the last three years. I'm telling you. And then you got people who are vaccinated and getting, having sex with. Uh, then you have people like during the pandemic having random sex. And, and then syphilis is like rising. So it's showing that people are banging everyone, banging each other, but like dirty. Um, I'm fascinated that people don't use condoms. Like, I guess they don't care if they get someone pregnant. I guess they don't care if they get a disease. I guess the HIV pills are making it harder. I don't know. Like I said, I was a baby in the 80s, so we were, the shit was in our face, so we were very fucking paranoid. I guess here's my thing. Our culture right now, it's kind of good. I'm in my headspace where I'm at because it's weird. It's so weird. Now, I know that if you click on something, that's what you kind of get in your algorithm. So what I see is an echo chamber of stuff that other people may not see. But I'm telling you, I don't even click that much. If I see one, like jiggly female body that's gonna send me female bodies forever like i stop clicking on them and i still get them and i try to click on like more puppies and stuff and i guess what i'm saying is i'm not surprised syphilis is on the rise you know i think it's curable it's because we are approaching or quite frankly living in sodom and gomorrah i'm not a religious person i'm not a bible thumper sodom and gomorrah is in the bible i don't know enough about it but it was like the most Basically, the city of sin, the most insane city of sinful behavior. And it was like the worst of the worst. And I do believe that we're living or approaching in that moment right now. I, I've i never... It, it is... Our culture is so sexualized that it turns me off. It turns me off. Like, I love if a woman is like, yo, no games, bam, boom. But, like, the amount of of sex that is used online to either garner clicks, garner likes, get attention. It's okay to be like sexy like in your bikini. There's just so I mean, it's just here I am. I'm a body. That's that's all I have to offer. There's a lot of women that don't do that. There's women that cook or fashion blog or write or whatever, but I'm just saying. And there's men that do it too. I'm but I'm not in the men. So I just see the women. I don't even I mean, some of you ever see the like the this trend of like Women sitting down in their camera in a bikini and they sit right. I mean, it's like God Almighty. It's crazy. So it to me, there's a great phrase for this, and it's called fatherless content. <laughs> I love it. It's so good. It's like you have no father. It's true. It's really true. And again, I'm not like a prude or anything, but like it's usually like listen, any girl that really talks a big game or is over sexualized, it's usually a way to like shock you. And usually those are the women that are not great in the sack. In my um, humble history, it's usually the quiet ones that are like, you know, that are quiet and sweet, that are freakazoids. And and they're respectful and great, you know what I mean? Best nails, best hair, everything, and then they're sweet. And then when the door closes, you got a wild animal in there. But these big mouth, loud, obnoxious females trying to talk like dudes would talk, but dudes really don't talk like that. Unless you're a douchebag. I don't know dudes that are like, bleh, 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 bleh. like these women are talking on the line and they're talking about how they SDs and like, it's like, you're too much. Like it's, it turns me off. I'm like, oh, it, cause it makes me long. It's like, oh, I'm so glad I have a good one. You know, a good, sweet, like a sweet, sweet, be sweet. Save that stuff for the privacy of your life. But the fact that people, it just screams desperate. And, um, I don't know. I mean, obviously, there's some women that are going to talk wild and are wild, and you're going to have a great time. But I find them very few and far between, but I'm not trying to, like, spend a day with them in the park. Keep it classy. 
So I'm not surprised that syphilis is up because every no one wants to commit. I get that. And no one wants to be in a relationship and deal. I get that. Everyone's banging. I get that. I Here's it. I hate this whole new culture of guys talking to girls like dudes. I used to do a joke about this. I should bring it back. <laughs> bro. Like dudes will call chicks bro. That's already annoying. I know why they do it. It's to like take the set. If a guy calls you bro, he wants to fuck you. I'm just telling you that. If you overextend that much, there's no girl as a bro. It's a girl. All girls, you know, <clears throat> used to be, you would, they get a hug and they're females and men, you know, you hug. There's no bros. <laughs> and then like, dude, guys will call a chick dude. Dude, dude, yeah, dude. No, that's again. A guy's just covering because he wants to bang. Like, the girl's not. If a girl calls you a dude, there's a good chance she's not going to bang you. But if a guy calls you a dude, like, this girl, I used to do this bitch about 20 years ago. And there's a girl, and she was like, dude. Like, I was making out with her, and she's like, dude, dude. Like, what happens when you go all the way with somebody like that? A girl's going to be like, take off my bra, bro. Hey, bro. Dude. Dude, ring my doorbell, bro. Like, it's not sexy. Like, oh, dude. Yeah. Oh, hit, hit it from the back, bro. Yeah, bro. Oh. Like, is the dude gay for the girl? Like, does the dude want the dude, the girl to be a dude? Like, stop. It's baby. All right. If you're having an intimate moment with a woman, it's baby. Like, ooh, baby. Honey. Mm, whatever else you want to do, all right? There's no dude. Stop. There's no bro. Stop. I mean, I guess if it's casual and you guys are never going to hook up, then you can call each other that. But it's this new generation of, like, trying to, like, because it's actually hypersexualized because it's so out of the way obvious. And so now I see all these people online, women, that are, like, talking so, like, first, the, the gluck gluck. It's just so stupid. It's fucking, I started that shit in, 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 in Heckler, and it's called a slunky. Okay, and it's way more descriptive than any of these females talk about. And second of all, it's just like don't talk about it. Like, keep the shit private, man. Stop. I want you to tell me in the comments if you think I'm being a prude. It's just because I just love class. Be classy in the streets. Be a freak in the streets. Just keep it classy. That's why syphilis is going up. Because people aren't. They're not taking care of themselves. They're banging. Dude's gonna bang anything, and a chick's gonna be like, oh, bro. Yeah, I'm like a dude too. I can have fucking a dirty vag. Like you got a dirty dick. Uh -huh. It's like that was a that was a term back in the day to rock stars and road comedians. It was called gig dick. You know what gig dick is? Gig dick is when you go from city to city, gig to gig, and you hooking up each night with a different groupie. And you know these guys, you know, wearing condoms and stuff. And after four or five days, they got gig dick. Okay, and it stinks. And they're out there. So women now are like. They're like, what's your body count? What's your body count? Like, what are you, five? Hey, what's your body count? <laughs> they have gig vagina. Gig vag. Gig cunt. You got gig cunt. Stinking. Smelling. I I went out with a girl one time, and it was fucking... I went in. I was about to go down there, and I'm like, nip, nip, nip. It smelled like fucking Mr. Wan's fish market on a Saturday when all the good fish were bought and the sun was out. I'm, like, I've had some experiences in my life, but this was a fucking nip, not gun that. And my boy said, you know what that is? That's a sexually active girl who's got loads in her. And he freaked to this day. I don't know. He's like, old loads are hidden in the woman and you're smelling old loads. <laughs> And to this day, if I fucking somebody smells like that, I just think they just had that. And he freaked me out. So I'm very, very, very particular. On, um, I don't know if that's true or not. I kind of believed it. So just keep it classy. Honestly, I don't think dudes talk that gross about women the way women talk about sex. Now, I think women talk grosser about it than men when it's not supposed to be that way. But maybe I'm an old lady. Listen, man, you got to like, you got to subscribe, you got to go to my Patreon. I'm going to put more stuff there unless my YouTube views go up. I'm going to maybe open an account on other platforms. I'm going to be everywhere. 